Hi everyone, AG Dolson here and welcome to my AG Fashion Week video. Now this video is a bit different from other prompts for AG Fashion Week. And while I wanted to get in on the festivities, I also wanted to show you some clothes that I've made for my dolls. So this Dressing My Dolls video is exclusively in clothes that I have made myself. For a little bit of context, I started sewing when I was 14 and I bought my first doll, Raven, just like you, number 24. Now, when I bought Raven, I wasn't very good at sewing. Luckily, you're not going to see any of the first items I ever made because they're not particularly good. But after working really, really, really hard, I now sew for my job outside of making silly doll videos, which isn't my job. Um, I actually work in the costume industry. So I'm freshly graduated from Costume University and out making stuff for people in the real world. And it's really exciting to think that my dolls got me to this point. So for AG Fashion Week, I wanted to celebrate the fact that my dolls are the reason that I found my love of sewing and show off some things that I've made for them in my time having American Girl dolls, the 10 years I've been collecting and sewing. So to start with, I'm gonna show off Sonali. Now, Sonali is my Grail doll, who is now mine, who I bought in February when I went to Melbourne. Now, Sonali is wearing one of my favorite things I've ever made, which is this beautiful wool coat. Now, this one isn't lined, but it does have a blind hem, so you can't see the stitch for that hemline. Now, the buttonholes and buttons aren't particularly awesome because my sewing machine doesn't really like doing buttonholes, but I really love how this collar turned out. I think it looks very professional. Underneath, she's wearing a green corduroy dress and a brown turtleneck, and her shoes are from a off-brand that I purchased while in Melbourne. I think Sonali looks really fashionable in this outfit, which matches her personality. She is a bit of a fashionista and wears quite sophisticated clothing. This is Raven, the doll who started it all for me. She's just like you, number 24, and she's wearing a grey coat, a heather grey sweater, and some stripy pants. And she's wearing some shoes that I opened in my re most recent unboxing video. Now, Raven is super cute and she wears a lot of comfy, casual clothes and she can't be seen in anything other than pants. Not even shorts, she only wears pants. I really love her in this outfit. She wears a lot of greys and blacks and whites. She loves a bit of a monotone look. Raven's also a very cuddly girl and loves to wear something comfy that she can lounge around the house in. She's usually in a pair of track pants, but today she was feeling a little bit fancy. This is Phoenix. Phoenix is wearing a checkered dress, tie front cardigan, and long knee-high black socks. Her shoes are our generation. And I think Phoenix looks so cute in this outfit. When I first made this dress, I knew it was for her. I really love the checkered print and the kind of slim figure that it has. Now this cardigan was a little bit of a mistake. Um, it ended up being far too big and the sleeves are very long, but I think it looks so cute on the dolls, all scrunched up and cozy. And Phoenix really pulls off the high knee high suck look. Next up we have Miss Vienna. Vienna has her curls tied up in two little buns. She's wearing this very cute funky shirt with detailed collar and the back panel is a different color as well. She's wearing some green corduroy pants and some western boots from American Girl. I think Vienna looks very groovy in this outfit. It'd be great on Julie, who I don't own. Now, I love Vienna in any kind of button-up shirt because she's also quite sophisticated. I think she looks super cute in this outfit and the colors pick up the green eyes. Robin is wearing a beautiful blue floral sweater that's actually made from a pair of socks and overalls as well as some Our Generation sneakers. The overall has a functioning pocket and closes with buttons at the top. And the sweater pulls over the head just like a normal sweater does. She also has her plushy Raiolu from Pokemon who she loves. I think uh, Robin looks so cute in this outfit. She always looks gorgeous in blue and it matches her eyes perfectly. Now Robin's been on a couple adventures out of the house with me in this outfit and it's such a cute look for going out on a picnic. It's illegal to separate Robin from her best friend Piper. They spend all their time in the dollhouse together. So this is Piper. Now she is wearing two little clips in her hair that have the character Kirby on them. And she's wearing one of my favorite things I've sewn recently, which is this peasant top dress in this cute rainbow stripe. Uh, Piper is my pastel girly. She loves pastels. And this is probably one of my favorites for her wardrobe. She's also wearing some American Girl brand meat shoes from the Just Like You era. 
Now Miss AJ is reminding me a lot of Susan Pevensey from the Narnia series, more specifically when they're still in the 40s and not in Fantasyland. Now my beautiful Miss AJ is wearing a dress that I made that has a chevron pattern to it and she's also wearing a peacoat from a Liberty Jane pattern and her meat shoes. This peacoat has little pleats at the back and it is fully lined with a fabric with fashion plates on it. Not sure if you can see. It's one of my favorite fabrics I've had in my stash for a long time and was so frightened to use, but I thought that it would be really lovely to peek out at the bottom of this peacoat. And all the buttons on the front are functional. Brielle is my summertime queen. No matter what the season is, she's wearing something fit for summer. So she has a floral bralette top a floaty charcoal grey skirt and Sage's meat sandals and of course her necklace that she never takes off. I think that this shirt really goes with the green of her eyes and I love how floaty the skirt is with it. It's a very Brielle outfit. Marnie's shoes are making it almost too tall for her to fit in the frame but she's wearing a rainbow scarf which is one of the few things I've actually knitted and this very short pinafore style dress. Marnie's a bit of an adventurous person and even with her fashion she likes to be a little bit adventurous. She's also wearing a pair of Julie's shoes which have a big platform to them and I love this outfit because you can really see her sleeve of tattoos. It wouldn't be an outfit for Billy without a pair of shorts. Now Billy is wearing a green sweater, a pair of cut off denim shorts with pockets, some green socks scrunched down and some American Girl brand soccer shoes. Now Billy always wears shorts, it's one of the uh, few rules I have when dressing my dolls is that Billy only wears shorts. So she wears these ones quite a bit. They're a nice dark wash denim and I also made her little socks that are scrunched down out of I think a pair of my primary school uniform school shock socks. For once in her life Sam is wearing an outfit I made or a different outfit at all. Sam is wearing a tunic that is made from a Pimley threads pattern I believe. She's also wearing a pair of stays that I made as well. Now her pants, socks and shoes are all American Girl brand but just be grateful that Sam changed her outfit this month. I'm not going to lie to you, Kestrel's outfit is one of my favorites. She's wearing this very sweet floral dress with puffy sleeves. There you are, puffy sleeves. And this waistcoat that I've made with a pair of Sage's Parade outfit shoes. Uh, Kimberly, not this, this isn't Kimberly, this is Kestrel because Kimberly's standing right above Kestrel right now. <laughs> Kestrel looks cute in anything like slightly old fashioned and vintage looking and I think this outfit really captures her personality quite well. And I think she looks really good in blue. I don't think I've dressed her in blue much before, so this is a good surprise for me. Here is Miss Marjorie. Marjorie is wearing a plain white tank uh, t-shirt and this blue floral tank top dress. I think she looks so sweet in blue, even though her eyes are almost more green. I think they still bring out the colors quite well. And it's a nice contrast with her red hair. I think this is definitely one of my favorite outfits I've put her in so far. It's the favorite. <laughs> this is Kimberly. Kimberly's wearing a brown turtleneck sweater and some plain baggy mum jeans. And Kimberly looks perfect in everything, but this is especially cute on her. Uh, and what can I say? She's just the favorite. On the subject of favorites, this is Esty. Her outfits is one of my favorite this week. Now her hair is in two pigtails. If you have a Claudie, put her hair in pigtails. She looks so darn cute. She's wearing this very delicate ba baby pink sweater. It's almost turning white on camera, but I promise it's more of a light pink in person. She's also wearing this wool skirt, a pair of white tights that are our generation, and a pair of Pleasant Company snow boots. And someone really needs to tell poor Esty that it's like 30 degrees outside, even though it's autumn at this point. This is another one of my favorite outfits that I put my dolls in this week. We have a plain white turtleneck and a blue floral dress on Miss Syrah. I love how the hair ties match the dress. I love the cute little socks. Those socks are actually a pair of socks made for babies. Now they don't fit most American Girl shoes, but I find Claudie's meat shoes are actually slightly bigger than the doll's foot. So they work quite well with those. Syra is so cute in this outfit and I love putting her hair in pigtails or side braids. She looks so cute in this outfit. The beautiful Mona is wearing a checkered print long dress. It's actually floor length. 
This one I made with AG Ren Fair Week in mind, but I also think it reminds me a lot of dresses you can buy at Uniqlo that are just comfy and casual and long, and you don't have to worry about getting sunburnt. It's such a cute dress and definitely one of my favorites in my doll collection. Now this is Orion and they are wearing some early things that I made for my dolls. This pair of pants is actually made out of one of my old pairs of pants and it's a Capri style. It has a seam running through the middle of the back of the leg. They are also wearing a tank top that's actually made out of an old pair of my pajamas. Back when I was first getting into sewing, I had a Monster High pajama shirt that I outgrew and I was so sad, so I decided to turn it into some doll clothes. Now you can see some very wobbly stitch lines, but it's really nostalgic for me to see some early things that I've made. And I think the cut of this one's quite cool because it's slightly oversized and slides off the doll shoulders quite easily. I think it's got a really cool boxy kind of masculine silhouette, even though the image is quite feminine. And last but not least, I have Thalia and Carlos, AKA Tiny Rosalie and Tiny, my partner. So these are me and my partner's mini me dolls and I tried to dress them in our style. Now, Thalia's dress is maybe one of my favorite things I've ever made for my dolls. I worked really hard to make this one extra cute. I love the ruffle at the bottom. I love the elasticated sleeves, I love the square neck, and I love those two green detail lines at the front. And I'm really happy with her new wig. You can kind of see it now, as opposed to my last video of the perfect colour of it for my hair. And we have Carlos, who, if you didn't see my customising video, he is modelled to look after my partner, so he has long hair on one side and a side shave on the other. My partner has a red beanie with the Dungeons and Dragons logo on it, and this red baby beanie is quite similar. He's wearing a black t-shirt with ribbing at the neck and at the cuff, and he's also wearing a pair of tartan pants with pockets, because even in the doll universe, men's pockets are bigger than women's pockets, and it's a travesty. He's also wearing a pair of tiny doll Adidas shoes and tiny Rosalie's parent wearing a pair of loafers that I wish I owned in real life. And that is what every single one of my dolls are wearing for AG Fashion Week, which are all things that I've made. Now it's really exciting to share this journey with everyone else. I've actually just bought some more fabric today to make doll clothes and I can't wait to show you those in a next video. I really love sewing for my dolls and I hope that this video has shown you that it's actually not that intimidating to start. Even uh, blah, blah, blah. even Orion, who was wearing some of the earliest stuff I've ever made for my dolls, looks super cute. Like, their outfit's adorable. So I really hope that if you haven't started sewing for your dolls yet, this video can kind of be a push to let you know that it's not that hard. Once you get started, it might even lead you to a career in sewing like it did for me or it might just be a fun hobby that can take your obsession to dolls to new heights and you'll have even more doll clothes to figure out where to store. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I just love sharing my love of dolls and love of doll sewing with everyone. So it's really nice to ha have this video to look on maybe in another 10 years time when I've been sewing my for my dolls for 20 years and see how much I've grown as a seamstress and how much my love of dolls has led me to amazing things in my real life. Hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I hope AG Fashion Week is treating you kindly and you're watching all the amazing content by other AG tubers. If you're uh, creating content for AG Tube uh, Fashion Week, please comment below so that I can watch your video. And I hope you have a lovely rest of this wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you do. And start sewing. Tag me in all the things that you sew. AG Dolls out.